Hello fellow travelers, Mark here with Walter's World and today we're back in London and today we're going to talk about are some of the typical mistakes that first time tourists and maybe second or third time tourists to London make when they come here because we want to make sure you have a good time when you're here, you're staying safe and you don't make some silly mistakes and one kind of mistake I think I see tourists make the most and it can be the most dangerous for you and actually the one that takes out the most tourists overall when it comes to London is they don't look right. Look, you have to realize when they drive on the left side of the road, you need to look on the right side first when you cross. Because I've been coming to London for years. I've seen a number of tourists get hit. Actually, last time when I was here with Liam, we saw two tourists get killed because they just walked off the wrong way. It was a horrible kind of thing. So you really want to be careful with that. And then the other really big mistake people make is they don't realize there's so much to do here in London. They try to do everything, like everything in a day or two or everything in a weekend. London has so much, you really do need to come back multiple times to see everything or stay for a, a longer period of time because if you try to do everything, you will get burned out. This city is huge and if you're going to be going Canary Wharf, the Tower of London, Buckingham Palace for the change of the guard, like you're going to be go, 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 go. You're not going to get to enjoy your time here. You're just going to be burned out, okay? So, so just be aware of that because that's one thing I see people, mistake I see them making again and again and again. Plan it out, relax, don't try to do everything in one day or two days. And when I talk about planning, I think another thing I need to tell you is if you're looking at coming here and you want to see the change of the guard, a mistake people make is thinking that the change of the guards here at Buckingham Palace are every day. They are not every day. You need to see and make sure there's going to be a change of the guard at 11 in the morning. Otherwise, you might come here and nothing's going on. So about a week before you come, just check and see. Are they going to be on on Friday or not or Thursday or Wednesday? What days are they doing it? So you know, so you can come here and you can see the change in the guard because it is an important thing to really do. Another mistake I see tourists make, and I actually have warnings here, is they think, well, London, it's this cool city and everything's safe here. And you do have to really be paying attention in busy spots like here at the Change of the Guard, where there's all these people focused on the Change of the Guard, or maybe you're, you know, Piccadilly Circus, Leicester Square, Covent Garden. There's places where you really need to pay attention to your wallet because there are thieves here, okay? Don't think this is all, yes, safe Britain, everything would be fine. No, you do need to have a heads up for that too. So another mistake when you're coming to London is when you're picking the wrong airport or the wrong arrival time when you're coming in. Because you know, you see all those great deals for, for flying into London, right? And like, wow, 35 euros or $200 or whatever it is, you're thinking this is perfect, but then you get into Stansted on a Sunday at 2 a.m. There, there might not be trains to get in, there might not be public transportation, and those cheap flight tickets might cost you a lot more because you have to take a taxi in or a cab or an Uber in and that kind of influences things. So when you're looking for flights to London, make sure you don't just look at the cheap airlines, look at some of the legacy carriers like British Airways or your, com your country's airline and you might see that actually the overall total cost of getting to London and getting into London might be cheaper than actually just doing the cheap ticket. Another mistake tourists make is they spend money when they don't have to. Look, go see all the free sites first before you go to some of the more expensive sites. You can go to the National Gallery, you can go to the British Museum, you can go to the Tate, the Tate Modern. All these are free, you can go and enjoy. Go see the change in the guard, it's free, so you can actually see a lot of free stuff before you start spending money on going to museums. Another mistake tourists make is they don't use public transportation to its best ability. And yes, that means using the tube, taking the buses sometimes, and sometimes actually just walking is your best way to get around because there's so many sites that are close together that it might only be a 15 minute walk, but it'll be 10 minutes of walking down in the tube to find the tube and then getting out to the other stop might actually take longer. So don't make the mistake of always taking public transportation, but also don't make the mistake of not taking it. And sometimes, honestly, the over-reliance on public transportation, there's so many sites, there's so many things to see here in London that you literally could just walk between some sites instead of taking public transportation. So be aware of that when you're kind of planning out your daily route when you're here. The thing is, if you do want to do that, you do want to go see a bunch of stuff. Another mistake some tourists make is they just take cabs around town or Ubers and they're kind of scared to take the, the underground, the tube when you're here. Look, you can take the tube all over. It is super simple. No, it's not a cheap ride, but it's worth it to get around. So don't keep that out of your planning for coming here because it's going to make your life a lot easier because you'll sit in a, in a traffic jam for half an hour for what would be maybe an eight minute tube ride. So something to kind of think about. But on the other side, don't think you always have to take the tube because honestly, sometimes it's faster to take the bus or just to walk to a destination. So if you're going to be coming from Victoria Station to Buckingham Palace, just walk. 
don't don't worry about taking a bus or figuring out to go to Green Park to take it and get off there and walk here. It's just faster to walk. But when, when you are on the tube, there are some mistakes tourists do make when they do go on the tube. One, don't walk up to the barrier to go in and then look for your ticket or your travel card or your Oyster or whatever, your Oyster card. Have your ticket, have your travel card, have your Oyster, have your phone, your credit card, whatever you're gonna use to tap in, have it already ready when you go up because otherwise people are just going to kind of bump up into you when you're trying to go in. That's one thing. Another thing, another mistake they make is they stand on the left side of the escalator. No, no, no. You stand on the right. You keep your luggage on the right because there's people that are trying to catch their train, their tube. They're going to rush down those escalator steps. Okay, so stay to the right. And when you're on the tube, when you're coming down those escalators, another mistake I see tourists make is they kind of come through the threshold onto the platform and then they just stop right there. What you have to realize is the platform's very long. You can go to other parts of the platform and not just stand right there where you come off the escalator. So move down farther, and also when you get on the tube, you can move into the tube. You don't just have to stay by the doors, okay? Those are some of the mistakes I've seen tourists make. And the last tube one I want to talk about, because we actually have a video on the don'ts of taking the tube, is when you're leaving, make sure you, make sure you tap out as well because you can use your phone, you can use your credit card if it's got the little tappy thing. You can do that, but if you don't tap out, they, it charges you more. So make sure you tap in and tap out. Another thing I think tourists make the mistake of is really falling in love with those red telephone boxes. Look, no one's making phone calls from those telephone booths anymore, okay? They're more like urinals these days than anything because when you go get that cute picture in front of there, you might notice a weird smell because yeah, it's kind of changed for what it's really for. So just be aware of that. And maybe don't have your little kids crawl in there to get the pictures. Now another mistake, and if we go back to like the museum free stuff, another mistake I see tourists make is they kind of over rely on some of the tourist trap destinations here. Cause there are some tourist traps and some are really worth going to see and some aren't as much going to go go see worthwhile to eat, I guess you'd say. But you have places like the London Dungeon, the London Eye. If you want to go to, you know, Madame Tussauds, or please believe it or not, these are really definitely tourist trap kind of places. Now you can have a good time at them, but honestly, if you're here in London, it's your only visit, I would go for the historical stuff over that. And I think that's where you could be making some mistakes. Now, if you come here with little kids, I would say go to like a London dungeon or something like that to make it fun for the kids or Madame Tussauds, because for them it's worth it. But if you're, you know, if you're coming here for a historical visit or something, I think that's a mistake people make. They over rely on those things when you should go to the British Museum or the Tate or something like that. Now we've been talking about all this tourist stuff. We also need to talk about some grub stuff when you're here. And pub culture is definitely a thing when you come here to London. And I think one mistake tourists make when they go to the pub is sometimes they 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 are looking for a seat or they go to a restaurant and they're they're waiting to be seated, but you have to realize the pubs especially, you go find your own seat, okay? You don't sit there and wait, because no one's gonna come up and say, can we seat you, sir? How many in your party? I mean, some places do do that, but in general, you don't. You just go and find a seat. And the thing is, the mistake I see people make is they sit there and wait for servers to come. The servers don't come to your table at the pubs. If you look on your table, you'll see a number, like in the table or on the thing that's holding like the napkins or the menu. What you'll do is you'll figure out what you wanna eat, what you wanna order, and then you walk up to the bar and order and tell them your table number. They will deliver the food to you and you take your drinks with you back to your seat, okay? And a quick little mistake that kinda of goes along with that is uh, some tourists make the mistake of thinking that the, the British ales are just like normal beer. You have to realize when you're having your drinks here, your ales here, they might be a bit stronger than they are back home, so you might get a little more bang for your buck in terms of the alcohol, so do be careful with that. Now another thing you have to realize, I know people talk about that it rains all the time in London and you'll always be in the rain no matter what time of year it is. That's a mistake. Now I'm not saying it doesn't rain because it does rain a lot when you're here, but I've actually gotten sunburned multiple times visiting London. So make sure you kind of prepare for all weathers. Like right now, I'm okay with this, just with a quarter zip on and some t-shirts underneath. I actually have a rain slicker in my backpack in case it does rain, because it will rain. Things will, you know, rain and weather changes during the day when you're here. Even if it says, oh, there's very little chance of rain, it still could happen, or it might say it's gonna rain all day, it might not rain at all. But you not being prepared for all the types of weather that might come is really important. That's why, Whenever you're coming to London during the year, make sure you look at that 10 day forecast before you come so you can be prepared and realize maybe I don't need to take this or maybe you do bring shorts here in the summer. Now, no matter if you're wearing shorts or trousers or pants or whatever, um, another thing I think is important is since there's a lot of pay, like tap to pay kind of places, 
there are people that will have these RFID readers that will like try to steal your money from it, your, your card or your phone. So do be aware of that and maybe have an RFID protected wallet when you do come here, just in case uh, for your phone, maybe turn off the payment option when you're not gonna be paying things and turn it back on when you don't use your phone to pay like that. Now, another big mistake I see people make, cause we're all used to taking ride shares, right? Like the Ubers and Lyfts and stuff like that. But I really think it's a mistake not to take a black cab when you're here in London because the cabbies here in London, they're not just someone that's driving you following Google Maps to get to your destination. They know the city. They'll tell you the history of the place you're gonna go to. And if there's a traffic jam or something going on or there's a dignitary going through, they know the other ways to get to your destination. So definitely do the black cabs over Uber. Now it's fine if you do to take some rideshare kind of program, but honestly the black cabs, it, it, it's almost like a tourist destination in and of itself. Now another thing I want you to remember is um, some people don't take advantage of the Thames when they're here and it could be just having a drink along the Thames or maybe going for a walk. Heck, going to the, the South Bank and just exploring over there with all like the new food kiosks they have around but there's a lot of stuff you can do on the Thames. Just taking a boat trip up and down, a boat tour on there can be very entertaining and give you something to do during the day when you're like, oh I'm tired of the walking but I want to take in more of the city, that can help you out. Now I've talked about all those tap credit cards and phones and stuff like that, but another mistake I see tourists make, especially tourists from the US, is they kind of, they're laissez-faire with their coins here, which you have to realize they've got a one pound coin, there's a two pound coin, so that's like, you know, a dollar, dollar fifty coin and a two or three dollar coin depending on the exchange rate. So literally a handful of coins could pay for your dinner easily. So don't just be throwing away and making wishes or whatever. You know, use those coins when you're here, because one, when you take it back home, you can't exchange them, but two, they're worth a lot, okay? So use them. They're not like pennies back in the US. And the thing is, if you're coming here and you're lost or you have any questions, another thing I see tourists do is they're scared to ask for help. What you have to understand, the police around London are fantastic. They will help you. Even if you're not sure, how do I get to this site or which way is the best way to cross the road? They'll tell you. They'll be glad to tell you. They'll be glad to help you. And it's not just the police that are helpful. The locals, the shopkeepers, they're going to help you as well. So don't be afraid if you are lost or if you're not sure about something to ask someone. Because honestly, for a big city, London is super polite and helpful. And I think that's another thing some tourists forget is their manners when they come here. Your please is your thank yous. And when you're on the tube, you let the pregnant lady sit down, you let the elderly couple sit down, you get up for them because manners are really a thing here in London, even in a big city like this. And when you come to London, I know it's such a world famous city, you wanna be here all the time, but I really think that's a mistake some people make is that thinking that London is England and it's the end all be all of England. If you've come to London, you don't have to explore more. Honestly, go out and explore more of England and you don't even have to leave. Like you can still stay in London and go explore more on some really great day trips. You can go to Cambridge, you can go to Oxford, you can go to Brighton, heck, you can get all the way to Bath. I mean, heck, it's two hours to go to Liverpool if you're a Beatles fan. Go spend the day up in Liverpool and come back down. I mean, you have all these options for really good day trips from here that you can do. Going to Hampton Court, just getting out of the city can be a really great time. So you're not just having a city vacation when you're here, you can get a lot more out of it, all right? now. I know there's a lot more mistakes that tourists do make when they come here, forgetting the right adapter because the plugs here are different than mainland Europe or the US. I mean, there's things that are gonna happen out here, not knowing the right way to do the queue culture, the line, standing line here is a thing. Do not make the tourist mistake of not respecting the queue because that is one thing tourists, they mess up. The locals will let you know about that you messed up in the line, all right? So, oh, and kind of adding on to the queue line culture kind of thing about not skipping the line and not skipping the queue, same thing, if you're up at the bar, at the pub, ordering your drinks, and you're trying to sneak in front of people that are in front of you to order their drinks, yeah, they're not gonna like that either. So just be aware of that one. So remember those things, but honestly, have a great time when you're here. Whether you're here with your buddies, I mean, I've come here with my family, I've come here for bachelor parties, I've come here to see friends, I've come here with my parents, I've come here by myself. This is a fantastic place to come no matter what. So enjoy your time here. And if you make some of these mistakes, that's totally fine. You'll still have a wonderful time here anyway. Bye from here in London.